Hello, everyone. Hey, hey. So, hey, baby, how are you all? So, listen, I want to thank you all so much for stopping by the live today. So, if you're looking at the replay, thank you for stopping by. I'm trying to get rid of that rain. Y'all see that rain? I can't stand that thing. <laughs> but I want to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. All right, guys. Nina. Hey, Nina. How you doing? Okay. I guess I still am a little bit too early with time. That's okay. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so someone let me know how is my sight and sound? Can you hear me? Do you, can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> Unicorn lady. Hey, baby. Hey. Yes, I'm hanging out here as I were. All right, baby. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Lexi, how you doing? I'm doing great, baby, doing great. Hey, Charmaine, hey, how you doing? Good to see you, baby. Carolina, hi. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Turf, 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 turf. <laughs> hey, man, thank you for being here, baby. Good to see you, good to see you, turf. <laughs> Hey, Mama Jane. Okay. Okay. Are you here? I can hear you. Yes, I'm here, baby. I'm here. Here I am. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Myra McLean. Hey, Myra. Hey, Myra. God bless you real good. I hear you. Y'all right, baby. Good. Good, Myra. All good. All right, Lexi. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Morris family. Hey, Miss Linda and the T-Nob family. Hey, how are y'all? Hello, everyone. Hey, Amy. Hey, Miss Linda. Hello, Miss Linda and everyone. Hey, baby. Hey, Maureen. How are you? Oh, y'all. It has been raining. You know it's been raining here. <laughs> Woke up to rain this morning. Ladybug. Hey, Ladybug. Hello, Miss Linden, everyone. You look and sound great. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you so much. I'm feeling marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> yeah. I had um I had lunch with Jody today. I recorded it so I can share it with you all tomorrow. But uh yeah, it was good. So I'm feeling all energized. I had all this live food. I ate this live food. So what I mean by live food, um, I ate a lot of um, raw spinach. She ate, uh, we harvested that cucumber. She, she cut that up and the bell peppers. Everything was nice and fresh and raw. Live, live vegetables, they were good, they were good. Looking beautiful, Tina. Oh, thank you, baby. I appreciate that so much. Hey, Miss Linda. Love ya. That's all. Okay, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Pete. What you say, Pete? Hello, all. I'm supposed to be out planting tomato seedlings, but the power company is here doing an upgrade to my power lines or something. Yeah. Yeah, they do something. <laughs> hey, Miss Linda, your voice is just so relaxed. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Looking good. Thank you, Mama J. So let me ask, answer this question, okay? I had this question. As a matter of fact, I had this question a couple of times. I think on the last video I did, or maybe even another one. I'm not sure. But I want to answer this question here. Uh, so one question that was asked to me is that, say, Miss Linda, do you do a lot of canning? Do you can? So my thing is that I don't do a lot of canning. I do some canning, like make jellies for my grandkids or something like that. Or when I harvest my figs, yeah, I can my figs because I love them and I share them because yeah, I'm not going to eat all those figs. <laughs> I'm not going to eat all those figs. But many people 
in my family and in my neighborhood. They love them, so I'm, I share it. So let me tell you about me and canning, all right? I have an aunt, she does all the canning for many of the family members. So I let her do her thing. When I want something, I need something, I go get it. But one of the, an, another reason why I don't can is because here in New Orleans, I would think a lot of people do canning for when they lose power, then they can have food. Um, so there is two types of hurricanes here in New Orleans. One, you stay home for. Anything under category three for us, we stay at home. The other one, <laughs> oh, you leave it. <laughs> you going in the opposite direction of the hurricane, right? So when I think of me leaving my home, um, I'm not gonna bring no cans with me. Cans are heavy. You could put them in your truck or car or whatever. I just don't can. Um, uh, I just don't find it necessary for me, for just this one person here. That's that's all I have. To, that's all I have to worry about to eat is me. So that's why I don't can. So that answers that question. Yeah. Hey, baby, how are you? How are you? Hey, Gulf Coast Granny, how you doing? How you doing? I wish you can box that rain up and send it my way. I wish I could too. <laughs> Cause I just got enough of it, man. I got enough for right now. Anyway, Carolina Gardner, you look be Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, all in the chat. Hey, hey. How are you, Miss Linda? It's been raining every day here, too. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, Miss Linda in chat. Hey, hey, Veggie Farm. How you doing? So one of the things um, I was talking to my aunt about canning is that she cans so much, you know, over the year. And so when it's harvest time, a lot of harvesting starts before the summer ends, really. And it's that, you know, um, what she says she tries to do is make sure all the family members have all the cans that she have canned that year. So she won't be having cans in her pantry from 2017 in there, which is just, you know, I find it's, it's it's a waste to me. If you can every year and you steady putting cans in and not taking cans out and you still have cans from four or five years, I don't know what's the, you know, what's the reasoning, but that's just me. And probably that's the reason why I don't can like that. So, but anyway, I think it's a good thing though. I really do. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Miss Linda. <laughs> OG. <laughs> I will never get over that, but go go for it. I'm, look, I can take it. <laughs> yeah, the New Orleans Gardener. I see that beautiful smile, so you know what that does for me. I'm lost, baby. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, Miss Linda. Hey, y'all in the chat. I'm swimming down here in my house, Steffi. I can imagine y'all getting it all down there in Bridge City, baby. Oof. Yeah. Ooh, Steffi. Hello, everyone in the live. Happy Tuesday. Hey, baby. Happy Tuesday. Wow, still no rain here at Turf. Mm. Yeah. And so too much rain, you know. It, it, like some of my um, uh, watermelon leaves are yellow because it's just too much water, 
too much water. Amy, hey, Miss Linda, looking beautiful today. Thank you so much. I try hard every day <laughs> to get it all together, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Hey. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Linda and Chad. Girl, the thumbnail of your garden looks amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Michelle. I hope, I'll, okay, you talking to that person. So listen, guys, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you all about today, but let me make an announcement, okay? Very soon, Turf, I'm going to call you, Turf, because there's something I need you to do, all right? But um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a big, when I say big, I mean big giveaway here, here. Now, probably this is going to be a live and it's probably going to be at seven o'clock in the evening. All right. But it's. Y'all, did I say big? <laughs> it's going to be big. It's going to be a big giveaway. A big giveaway. Big giveaway. But you cannot win anything unless you have a cash app. Period. Yeah, because the winner is going to get cash. Cash. <laughs> so. You must have a cash app, period. PayPal, mm -mm. I had that happen to me before. I don't know if many of you all remember, I was giving away for, to a cash app and this lady won, but come to find out she didn't have a cash app, she had PayPal. But you must have a cash app in order to win. So you will have, did I say 10, 10 chances. There will be 10 winners, 10, 10. So that's the big announcement, y'all. So keep listening. I will give y'all that date real soon. You have to be careful. Okay. Do what works for you. What are you talking about, Mama J? Hey, Miss Linda and all. Hey, Garner 99. Hey, Miss Linda, you look gorgeous. Hey, everyone. Thank you, this sweet spot. Thank you, baby. Let's see here. Let me skip some of this. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's see. I just wanted to shout you out. I'm going out to cut grass and water and garden. Say bless. Okay. You too, baby. You too. Oh. Okay. All right. I don't can either, Linda. I do freeze a lot, though, near the end of the fall. Yeah. So many methods, you know, of, of preserving food. So, you know. Yeah, and I'm also learning a lot about my dehydrator, so I'm excited about it. Yeah, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share, but I need to get it together first, right? Yeah. Hey, baby, hey, Miss Linda, hey, how are you? Hey, <laughs> I just started watching your video this morning. I gotta go back, but uh, <clears throat> thank you, baby. Thank you so much. So you all, if you all don't know Happy Farms, there she is. She's right here. Um, she is a beautiful young lady, inside and out, beautiful gardener. And uh, she is from northern Louisiana, closer to Shreveport. And she came here to New Orleans and we met. Ooh, and we've been knowing each other here on YouTube for maybe four or five years now. So. Yeah, y'all go check her out. Happy Farms. Go check out Happy Farms. She's amazing. Thank you, honey. I'm going back, though. I'm going back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey. 
KP Lovely. Miss Linda, it is not easy. Okay. What is not easy? All right. Yes, keep it moving, giving only things to jars and so expensive. Yeah, you know, canning is, you know, it's good, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, Melinda. Uh, Annie, you're going to have to make it, make it make sense for me because these one liners, I don't understand what you're saying. So tell me what you're saying in one comment. All right. I miss homemade jam. That's pretty much all the canning I do so far. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You need to rotate when you can a lot. You must. <laughs> you know, would you go to the store and buy five year old cans of food? You know, so. Yeah, you must rotate. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Hey, whole new perspective. Hey, Miss Linda in chat. Oh, taking a little break to watch. You. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right. We have a six day heat wave. Oh, man. Ooh, yeah, Pete. <clears throat> We all got a little something going on crazy, huh? All right. You are right about that, Miss Linda. When we are younger, our folks did the canning for financial reasons as well. Yeah. For us, it is simply simpler. Yeah, to go to the grocery store <laughs> as canners at times consuming it. Well, that's true too. That's true too, you know. It makes me feel good to see you smile. Oh, thank you so much. As if you're talking to me. <laughs> hey, Miss Linda. I just love the hairdo. Lipstick is popping too. Poo. <laughs> thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, I got to stay up with you girls, you know. <laughs> oh, thankful for... Raise beds today, Linda. My yard is a lake. Oh, yeah. Well, I have spots in my garden. It's like, you know, but uh, yeah. What I do is when I when it do rain like this and I see where there's puddles, yeah, then I, I begin to work on that part of the garden by adding more soil there to try to raise it up a little bit. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's crazy. It's still raining here in North Texas, and we have a lot more days to go before it's out. Yeah. I think all of us is having some kind of rain going on. Yeah. All right. So, hey, hands in the dirt. How you doing, man? Oh, uh, listen, I truly enjoyed your video the other night. Uh, I watched your video. And uh, I think I commented and I said, you have a full circle garden. That is a full circle garden you have. It's, you have um, older plants that is producing. You have younger plants and you have seedlings. And really, that's the growing uh, process of a garden. And really, that is awesome. That is awesome. I loved it. I loved it. Because, you know, you never know when a plant going to die or, you know. So it's always good to have something to put back into the spot once a plant, you know, it doesn't produce. Because you don't want to waste time because you don't have a lot of time in, this, in a season. So always have something growing to replace something if it don't produce or it dies you still will have something and some kind of food to have for your family. Yeah. Oh, I hope it is seeds. Oh, <laughs> okay, y'all talking. Yeah. Michelle. 
I would have much rather have my grandmother spend time with me and not spend all day, it seems, in the kitchen boiling <laughs> jars. I didn't get it as a child, really. Now, Michelle, I had all the time in the world with her. Matter of fact, I tried to get away from her. <laughs> but when she was candid, I was with her. But when she was gardening, I was with her. And and then we spent time apart, you know, while well, she was sending me off. And that's when I get to really goof off. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Linda Gardner. Hey, baby. Hey, D. How you doing? Yeah. I'm here for it. Okay, baby. Into the blue. So tell me this, how many of you all are growing, um, are still growing food, um, or still have seedlings? You, you still have seedlings and, um, or are you still purchasing seedlings? Tell me about that. So much rain, my tomatoes are cracking up. <laughs> God, the 99. So if you all don't know, Gardner 99 is in New Orleans. So <laughs> you should you should have those, those tomatoes cracking up like that, bro. <laughs> so that's why it's one reason why most of my tomatoes are in grow bags. They ain't cracking up, bro. Mm -mm, because they drain themselves very well. So Put them in a grow bag next time. The rain has me worried about my garden and my bees. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Love you all, baby. I love you too. I love you too. Just dropping in to wish you, Miss Linden, everyone. Hello. I'll be listening. Take care. All right, Yankee sister. Thank you, my baby. Thank you. Hey, Big Mama's going. Hi. Back to class. I wish you all the best day. Enjoy this beautiful chat. You too, uh, Danny. So Danny is an online teacher also. So, all right. We understand, baby. Thank you for being here. The canning, uh, they pile up. Yes. There you go. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So, you know, if you have family members to share them with or neighbors to share those cans with, then do so. But, you know, <clears throat> it's just, it's not feasible for me. That's all. So let me get down to the bottom of this chat. Hey, Donnie. Hey, baby. I see you. I see you. Um. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, Stacey. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Hey, Miss Linden girl. Hey, Sam. How you doing, babe? Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. That lettuce looked amazing. Amazing. You're doing that, baby. You're doing this, Sam. Absolutely. Hi. Good night, dear. All my friends watching from guitar. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. <laughs> My cardones has sprouted, but it wants to lean over. Yeah, yeah. Even after, I, <laughs> after you reported it. Yeah. Oh, you reported it. So you say reported it. Okay. So listen. They are they are very, very big. So sometimes you may have to get you a big stick or something and put behind it just to kind of hold her up because they will. She will get huge, huge. Just she will get big like um, um, an artichoke plant. A matter of fact, most people will think she's an artichoke than a cardone. Yeah, I know it's going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we had to go outside for my grandmother. It was as sterile as operant. Really? 
I bet. I bet. Yeah. I am. My seedlings were destroyed by the wind. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so because your seedlings, you know, some things happen. The garden is just like life. It is life. And if you think about your garden as, um, as your life, no matter if you do everything perfect, the perfect way, um, something, some things will not survive, period. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, it, it just happens. It just happens, you know. So when things die in your in your garden, don't beat yourself up. No, don't beat yourself up. Drop another seed, put another plant there, and keep it moving because you don't have a lot of time to mourn. Uh, you got a season. <laughs> you only have a season to do this thing, right? So always be prepared to put another plant in its place, right? So just, just be ready. I still have seedlings, but I'm in zone 4B. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just getting into my gardening groove. I finally plant my tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and okra next week. Then it's on. Mm, I like that. I like that. And definitely, baby, make sure you have seeds of, you have little seedlings to back up the ones that you're going to put out, right? So, yeah. Because you have a very short season. Yeah. We just got five trees delivered from, okay, <laughs> three more. <laughs> Paul paused. Okay, the ones from Stark Brothers may be dead. And two dwarf mulberry trees. Wow. Wow. Um, I think one of the things that I do want as far as trees, I do want to purchase two more trees. And that is... Um, I want to purchase another pear tree for my pineapple pear that um, she needs another pear tree. Yeah. And um, I want a tangerine um, tree, but I want her from Louisiana. So I'm going to um, Baton Rouge to get her. Yeah, I'm going to Baton Rouge together. I do my time, sweet peppers and carrots just starting, just start germinating. Yeah, that's good, baby. I'm still sowing and buying, not a ton, though, because I don't have much space. Yeah, Donnie. But I'm trying to always be planting. Yes, so I'll always have food. And that is the great thing to do and a great way to think about it, that you always have food, right? So let me just uh, share this with you all. That some of the things that I was reading about is um, the character of a gardener, right? I have plants in all stages from seeds. I just dropped to seedlings and full plants. Great, Melinda. That is a full circle garden. And that is so. So listen, if you think about your garden as a family reunion, right? Think about your family reunion. You have your older members of your family. You have the 40s and 30s and 20s and those teens and little teens, the 12 year olds, then you have the toddlers and you, then you have the babies. And that's, that's, that's a garden. That is. All right. Can y'all see me now? Ooh, that was strange. So let me know if you all can see me.
I do this weather here, even okay. Assumption Paris is, is okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Y'all can see me. Okay. Good. 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 Woo! That was weird, but it happened. <laughs> okay. All right. So the the um, character of a gardener. Now, when I look this up, it says that most of the time we are born a gardener. This thing inside of us does not start. It doesn't wake up. I mean, we don't wake up to it, right? Something triggers in life down the line. Something happens and it triggers this, this awakening inside of us, right? So like you have some people who says, I never garden in my life. But today they absolutely love gardening. Absolutely love gardening. So one of the characteristics of a gardener is sharing. And I see a lot, if you think about it, you think about some of the videos that you have watched probably in the last month of how many, how many people say that they are sharing something um, from their garden. I looked at last night, I watched Hands in the Dirt, Stacy, and one of the things he said, he was he had a lot of seedlings. And one thing he said is he's going to give a lot of them away. And that is one of the characteristics of a gardener to be kind and sharing. They share, they share. Let's see what's it, what y'all saying. Hey baby, hey, how are you? How you doing? Hey, hey y'all in this all, how you doing? Hey everyone in chat, hey. Hey, how you doing? I saw that uh, unboxing you did. <laughs> all those uh, seeds and plants and it was really good really good I enjoyed it that is that is me Miss Linda I never gardened before and I love it yes yeah, so this thing is just it awakens inside of us as we grow right and you will find yourself um, transforming into this person that Things that you wouldn't have thought about when you were younger that you think about and you cherish today, right? So another one is caring. Caring about nature. You care about nature. You, um, you care about birds and bees and, you know, and now when you go somewhere, you notice all the trees, you know, you start looking at them because <laughs> and don't let them have fruit trees because you're all in it now. <laughs> so all these things inside of you kind of wake up, you know. Let's see. <laughs> I see y'all moving fast here now. <laughs> yeah. Blessings. And yes, it was. I hope my comments say, hey, was received. Love what? 511 did for my guard. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. It's amazing stuff sometimes. I tell you, it have me going crazy. I love it. Hey, Miss Linda Garfield. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, wait a minute now. I gotta miss. I miss my nephew right there. There you go. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Miss Linda. Hey, hey, baby. How y'all doing? So, this is another one. Back to our roots homestead. So you all know back to our roots homestead. And if you don't, here they are. They put up a video this morning. Also, so, so if you don't know that back to our roots uh, is Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops, basketball player. <laughs> yeah. And just think now, all her life, this is what she was doing. And now she has fell in love with gardening. That it's just something that awakes inside of you, right? So sometimes you have people that is born into this thing. I am one of the people that was born into gardening simply because this is the way my family survived. Without that garden, 
we would have had many hungry days, but because of the garden, we grew up strong, healthier, and we gave. My grandparents gave at harvest time. The community received food. They had we had everyone come to the garden. Bring your boxes, bring your wagons, bring everything. Everybody, everybody harvested. Everybody got fruits. Everybody. And that is what gardening does. It wakes up these things inside of you. You find yourself caring for people that you didn't care for, or you had like, you know, have you ever had someone say, I don't know why I don't like her, but I don't like her. So to me, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, that's crazy right there. You will find yourself loving everyone just the way they are, even with all of their faults, even with their faults. It's like a tree. You see have a lot of limbs going straight and one limb going to the left. But people who are not gardeners, they will see, they will see that one limb going to the left, but a gardener is going to see all her beautiful limbs that is going straight. You see the good in people, no matter what. So I say to you is that if you have a garden, this is your garden. You do as you choose in your garden. Failures, listen, the best gonna have failures. I don't care how good they say they are. I don't care how long they say they be gardening. We will have failures. I have failures every season. I, I got a list. <laughs> I got a list. And I've been doing this all my life. I'm 64 years old. And I woke up to life in a garden. But I have failures, just like everybody else. Just like if a person who went out there for the first day, I have failures. Because a garden is light. You will have failures and you will have success, period. It doesn't matter. But a gardener, heart is open to love and to care no matter what she will care he will care for his fellow man if he loved birds and bees he definitely could love his brother or his sister right and no matter what you do and you may say i wouldn't do that like that then that's fine. Don't do it in your garden. But everyone have a right to do what they choose to do in their garden, right? But I, I had a terrible problem. Let me get some of these here. Hey, hey, baby, how are you? How are you? Hello, Miss Lydia and everyone. Hey, baby. Yo, my glass, my eyes, I have dry eyes and I hate it because it makes my makeup run. <laughs> hey, Miss Linda Garden community. Hey, Kim. Hey, baby. All right. Hey, back to, all right. So did y'all see that big, Kohlrabi back to our roots harvest this morning. Oh my God, that thing was humongous. Hey, Miss Linda, Miss Linda, are you, Miss Linda, you are right. I was giving persons and nature loving persons before I started gardening. Yeah, I understand, baby. I understand. And it, it just happens. It happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. I watched one of their videos yesterday, Back to Roots Homestead. Yeah, well, go see the one this morning they put up. You're going to be amazed. <laughs> Y'all got a farmer's market. <laughs> Isn't that true, Stacey? Good Lord. It was just amazing. 
Okay. All right. Love that smokehouse. Oh yeah, from Back Town Roots, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so true, Miss Linda. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Hello, Queen. Just finished checking on my garden after all that rain. Oh boy, that came down last night. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it's crazy rain. That is so true, Miss Linda. Yeah. So another statistic that it says, and listen, Google me, y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? One thing it says about a gardener that is I find to be uh I would think it's to be true, right? My my grandmother passed away in 2016. She was 104 years old. Mm -hmm. And one thing they said about a gardener is that they live a long life. That's what it says. Google it thing. <laughs> it's, you know, so I think it comes with all of the work that we do physically, physical work, and all the good eating we do, right? <clears throat> hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, Linda, I'm here live. <laughs> good to catch you. It's warm enough now to get it started. All right, baby, get it started, baby. I'm going to come over. I'm going to come over and check you out. Hey, Miss Lenera. So, Angel, did you get your um, Creole seeds? Let me know. All right. All right. Mm. Amen. What a blessing to have her for so long. I know. I know. I know. She was such a such a sweetheart. I used to go over and get into bed with her. And at the time, like a cassette tape, I used to turn on my cassette tape and just have her telling me stories, right? She my grandmother was a bad, bad, bad girl. <laughs> I still have some of those cassette tapes of her talking. It's so funny, y'all. It's so funny. <laughs> and so beautiful and low blessed life. Yes. Now, my grandfather, he was 98 when he passed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Nair. Hey, baby. How you doing? How you doing? Gardeners live a long life because they work exactly. Fresh food and connection to earth is a connection to your life source. Exactly, love knows. I think that you put it perfect, perfect. And that is, I would think, the reason why gardeners live so long. And true gardeners also, as I was saying, is that how they care for one another. They care for people. If they see their neighbors in need of anything, if they have it, they are going to take care of that person needs. That you you can almost just pinpoint her and say that person is a gardener. Yeah, it happens. It really do. Nothing but smiles and hearts. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Red. Thank you, baby. Do you sell lemon cut? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. No, I don't. I don't sell none of that. Our father said we will give seed to the sower. Give, givers give, get given to. Exactly. And I, I agree. I agree, Morris. Man. Oh, she was a third. Mm, honey. <laughs> Sounds like um my nana, rest in peace. She was quite the character. Oh. So let me just tell y'all what. Just one instance where she told me. This is what she told 
<laughs> now, I want to say I was about 27, 27, 28, somewhere around that area, right? And she was um, lively and, you know, my grandmother was, was tall. She was like 5'10". She was taller than me, really. But um, <laughs> she told me one day I came over to her house and I got in the bed with her and I told her, I said, I say, Mama, my back hurting me so bad. I, I shouldn't even tell y'all that one. <laughs> but it was really, it wasn't nice. <laughs> but she was a fire. She was a, just a fire woman. She was a fire woman. And she, she know how to just make life easy and uh, a happy life. She had a happy life. And that's what I love that, that, you know, she had a very, very happy life. She enjoyed life. And um, she, she was stern. She was very stern. Yeah. Uh, but when you get on her good side, she was easy, you know, but yeah, grandmothers was it's just so awesome. Miss Linda, I'm going to the P.O. Box today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. So excited to grow them. But I think they're in your P.O. Box, baby. Yeah, it's, they've been going. Yeah, yeah. I sent you a little extra something too. Sure. Wow, I would love to hear your grandmother's stories. It's such a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, she was something else. Hey, Miss Linda, be telling Buku, look, look, boy, you, you almost had me on the floor. What's up? <laughs> telling her secrets today. Where did you get that from? <laughs> so listen, guys, the word Buku is a word that we use here in New Orleans. I, I haven't heard anyone say that, not unless you grew up in New Orleans or you've been here in New Orleans and you kind of hung around in New Orleans and you, you know, you kind of know, you know. But when he said that this morning, I'm like, what? I, I fell on the floor. <laughs> but uh, that was cool. That was cool. You talk about somebody keeping secrets. You got a secret, bud. <laughs> All right. Yeah, buku tomatoes, he said. <laughs> All right. How do you get rid of tomato hardware? <laughs> I'm trying to take them. So remember this. Tomato hornworm starts as an egg on the back of your leaves. And then it be it then it's a little worm. So yeah, you got to get it when she, when, you, when she first laid them eggs. That's how you got to do it. You must stay on it every day. You need to flip them leaves, baby. Raise up them skirts. Go under there. Go deep. <laughs> you got to go deep under there and uh, get them out of there because if you have one tomato hornworm, Oh, you got more than one. Keep on looking. Yeah. But remember, they start off as an egg. So you just have to be vigilant every day, every day. And I know that if you're growing a lot of tomatoes, that's a job, but you planted them. So I have that problem, too. Uh, but I try to stay on it. And what I do is, as my tomato plant grows, I take a lot of those leaves off. I take a lot of them off. So I'm going to do a whole lot of pruning out there today. A lot. I'm going to leave some, but not a lot. And once you do that, if you get rid of most of the leaves, but you want your plants to be big enough to, to handle that. Um, as of right now, though, just be vigil be vigilant and look under the leaves because they start off as an egg. Yeah. You <laughs> say I'm hollering. <laughs> I hear you, Sam.
All right. <sighs> it's the weather. But and let me get down here some because I'm missing a lot of you all. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Let me see what this say. <laughs> I grew up saying buku too. Really, Ladybug? Oh, I didn't know that. I just knew a lot of people from New Orleans said because I'm thinking that buku is French. Is it French? I think it's French. Yeah, and we do, we say a lot of French and Spanish words. Yeah. Hey, the sweet spot, hey. <laughs> All right, let me get down to the bottom, y'all, just in case, oh, here we go, right here. Lily, she's talking to Lily. Uh, Miss Linda, you are cutting up today. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was doing so bad. <laughs> okay, Malik. I miss my Nana and my sister. They hit 99 and 102. Miss them always, but I learned so much about plants from them. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the cool thing. And I feel you. I feel you. Is that... Uh, you know, it's it's life. Where there is life, there is death, and we take something from them uh, from them that they have given us, and we cherish it, and we just pass it on. Keep doing it, and pass it on to your children, and she pass it on to her children, so on. It's just a part of life. Yeah, sometimes it's just hard to swallow. Do I feel you? Yes, I feel. I do. So let me tell you this in 2014, if you ever look back in all of my videos, you will see the very, 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 very first video I put up on YouTube here is one minute long. And it was of my garden. Mm -hmm. Well, what was to become of my garden? Because it was nothing there but my backyard. So my mother passed away in 83, but I had an aunt who's kind of stepped in. She wasn't like trying to take the place of my mother. This was my mother's sister. She just wanted to give me that love and guidance that I still needed at 26 years old because yeah, I still needed it. <laughs> I still needed some guidance, right? You know, you think you're grown at 26, but I know. Uh, so, but she was that one. When 2014, she passed away. Now, she and I had song gospel together, and I traveled all over Italy with her. She passed away in 2014. And seriously, 2014 is when I started to become back into my past. That's when I went back to get that young Linda. I was lost. I was lost, totally lost. Mm -hmm. And it started my garden. In this property. And the garden was the only thing that helped me. The only thing. I stopped, I couldn't eat by myself. Couldn't. I was lost. That is the power of a garden. That's the power of a garden. It's more than just <clears throat> getting a plant to grow. It's more than just getting fruits from your trees. It's more than that. It's life. And if you don't see that now, it's okay. It's okay, you don't see it now. But one day, one day, something will wake up inside of you and you will see it. 
And you will see like Stacy and Hands in the Dirt, his his garden had this full circle of a family. And that's what a garden is. And it's not growing a thousand of anything for me, because if I grow all of that food, you know, I'd be wasting food. It's too much. And thank God, Jody has now started to eat from the garden because she didn't. She didn't. She never did. The only person who would eat from the garden other than me would be Jada and my son. But other than that, so, but now I got three more people to eat from the garden with me, right? So I can plan a little bit more. But you will see the things that wake up inside of you when you start to open up your heart to the garden. Yeah, it's more than it's more than what you see, baby. It's more than what you see. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, let's see what she said. I pulled at least 15 horn hornworms off. Yeah, yeah. They could be very, very destructive. Just terrible, terrible. Good day to you, Miss Linda, New Orleans Gardener, and fellow Earthlings. How you doing, man? I enjoyed your video. I watched one of them. Uh, I want to say the really blue grass that looks like a blanket. I thought that was really cool. And I forgot the name of it that you said it was, but very, very, very cool. I enjoyed it. Okay, get you a black light flashlight, then go out at night and shine it on your plants. Those hornworms will glow. Yeah. I heard that to be true, uh, CB. See you. Oh, okay. Mm, oh, yeah, the, yeah, it did, it did. But we back, we back. Let me see, can I get here? Yes, gardening is a blessing. It helps me so much mentally and physically. Thank you for your testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It um, blue time. Yes, that's what it was. Man, that thing was beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. I, it looked like um, a rug. It's so so perfectly beautiful. I love that. It is nice garden. It is. It is. It is. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Sammy Joe, and everyone in the chat. I was planting carrots, and then the sky opened up. Lightning, thunder. There's a party going on today in heaven. <laughs> yes, baby. I know that's right. My chickens fight over the hornworm. Yeah, well, I don't have any chickens, but. I'll leave them for the birds. Most of these big birds will eat them. But I try to give them when they're small. I try. Yeah, I try to be vigilant enough to, to get them all when they're small. Yeah. But anyway, guys, let me get off of this thing before it go out again because, yeah, it is getting down outside. And um, I don't want to I don't want it to go out again and you all just be hanging on up in here. Let's see, what you say, CB? But everyone knows Miss Linda is not going to <laughs> go out in the garden at night. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. But you know I'm not. <laughs> Man, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going out there. Let's see. Hey, I'm watching my plants like a hawk. Yeah, baby. I know that's right. Yeah. Salute growing with Donnie. Okay. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, baby. How you doing? But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here uh, because, yeah, the weather is just ugly. It's just ugly. Yeah. But I love you all. And I thank you all for hanging out with me. And then maybe, you know, hope tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, next week, uh, I'll pull out some of my grandmother's uh, stories that she have told about things she have done. She was a bad girl, y'all. <laughs> She was a real bad girl. 
I couldn't even think about doing some of the things my grandmother did. <laughs> no, I love what you did with that tree. Oh, right. All right, DeAndre. I love how easy you make gardening versus taking the mad scientist approach. Thank you. I love nature, so I let nature work her magic. <laughs> it keeps it fun and helps you to develop freedom and you truly nurturing your plants. Love it. Keep up the great. Thank you so much, baby. I appreciate that so much. I truly do. Listen, I I love nature to just do nature. And hey, I'm not expecting nothing else but. That's all. Have a great and safe weekend, Ariel. You too, CB. You have a great time too. Yeah. We love you too, Miss Linda. Oh, thank you, Donnie. Love you, baby. So glad to catch you live. Sending love, love and prayers and appreciation. Oh, thank you, Andel. Thank you, baby. Oh, I would love that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's some of the things I have to bleep out, you know, because yeah. And now my grandmother, my grandmother, uh, she's from New Orleans, and her sister, when they were born, my, my aunt Louise, she was from northern Louisiana, uh, close to where uh Danny uh lives at now. So, but um, uh, mm, yeah, there was some bad girls. Bad girls. <laughs> I hope the weather clears for you, Miss Linda. Have a blessed day. Yeah, I hope so too. And, and you know, like I said, a lot of it is like some some of the leaves on some of my vegetables is turning yellow because it's just too much rain. But you know, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. You know, I, I have more watermelon seeds dropped, so. And I'm gonna put some in a 17 gallon container anyway, just in case, you know, I'll have it, I'll have it, yeah. But anyway, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for being here and hanging out with me. I loved it, I loved it, yes. Have a wonderful day, Miss Lynn and everyone, take care. You too, Renee, you too. I enjoyed you, look, look, baby, hold on to them strawberries, girl. I saw him this morning. I saw him. You are a joy to watch. Oh, so much knowledge in your personality makes it ever better. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, honey gal. Okay. She's speaking to somebody, I guess. Happy Tuesday. Definitely looking forward to the stories. Enjoy your evening, Miss Lynn. You too, uh, Sam. You too, baby. A black corn is doing good, baby. It's doing real good. Steffi say bye, y'all. Have a great week. Be safe, uh, Steffi. <laughs> yeah, over there in West Wheel in that boat. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. You all have a wonderful day. I love you all. I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lady y'all.